What's up, YouTubers? Uh, Bruno G here, and uh, got some bad news. I swallowed one of my fillings. So that filling has fallen out for the third time now, and they're trying different cements. We're trying to figure out why that filling is falling out, but the first two times I was able to notice it when it came off when I was chewing some Starburst candy and uh, this time I didn't notice it and I ate it so they say I could pass it you know through me within like a few days hopefully it's uh, it's concerning and I have to I guess dig through my poo with gloves and it's going to be nasty and I'm scared and I'm going to document it and I'm, this is a documentary this is a documentary about what happened what to do by me so uh, updates I've had to go through about seven movements and I've never done anything I mean I've picked up dog excrement when I used to uh, walk dogs. This is the dentist recommended way to do it and I'll be uh, teaching you going through how to do it. I use a sits bath. So here I am in the bathroom. Still have yet to uh, find the tooth in my fe fecal. Uh, this is called a sits bath and just goes right on top of the old toilet. And what I do is I get one of these bags. I'll show you. So you get one of these bags, open it up. So this is the bag. You put that little shallow bag in the sits bath. You can get the corners so nothing spills out of there. I've had a couple spills. I ate Popeyes, so I had a little squirt, and which wasn't nice. And I actually wasn't going in the bag at first. I was just going in the sits bath and then cleaning it, but it would take a long time to get all smudged up. So then I remembered, oh, my one-year-old daughter, she has a small potty, so that's what those bags are for, little potty bags for kids. And I thought, oh, that may fit in the sits bath, and I don't have to clean, uh, go poo right in the plastic of the sits bath. You know, my wife uses it, it's hers. Um, got to disinfect it. And then you can see here, I got disposable gloves. Here they are. They're pretty cheapo, but they haven't busted on me, to my knowledge, yet. Put the glove on, and then basically you just have to root around with your glove. You just you go around and you you hold it, you smush it, and you look for the gold. And uh, it's kind of like gold mining, you know. I feel kind of like I'm in the 1800s as a gold miner. Another thing to remember is that poo stinks when it's not in the toilet. So make sure to turn your fan on and even light a little bit of sage. Just a tip. So I bet some people are wondering, Bruno, after you have to dig through the fiki, uh, how do you go about your day? I mean, you must be, uh, you know, on the verge of vomiting. You must be, you know, have no appetite. Um, and. I'd just like to put to bed those rumors and say uh, I'm still I'm more hungry than ever these past few days and I've actually been craving uh, chocolate pudding, I've been craving chocolate mousse. Alright, so I spoke a little too soon this morning that I said, you know, these dollar store gloves are fantastic. Uh, I just had one break and I got poo all over my finger. I did clean it and uh, I think it's clean now. Hopefully it's not under the nail. So I've been thinking about it and tomorrow I'm going to call my dentist and tell him what happened. It's been about a week and I was kind of embarrassed. I didn't really want to tell them that I'm going to have to poo it out, but uh, I'm just going to have to suck it up. I'll document it, of course. Alright, so it's Tuesday and um, caught
calling back the dentist. I haven't uh, spoken with the dentist. I've been call it, trying to talk to them since last Friday. They haven't picked up. I'm nervous. So let's see. They'll pick up. Fingers crazy. Or crossed. Good office. I help you. Hi. Uh, this is uh, Bruno. Uh, I have the gold fillings. I was in there a couple weeks ago because one fell out. Yeah. And they put it back. It fell out again, actually. It fell out again? Yeah. Um. But, um, I actually, this time, I actually swallowed it. So, I don't know if there's, like, something I'm supposed to do, or I don't know. Uh, now you would just have to redo a new one. This time will have to be a new one. So right now, my next appointment I have is June the 3rd. If you want to schedule now before we get booked up that day. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I could do that June 3rd. So, um, I haven't found the gold tooth. So there it is. It looks to be about a half pounder. And I'm going to have to dig in that son of a thing. So what I do normally is I just like smush it down. And you know, you're feeling for a hard object. Uh, you're looking for gold, so anything shiny. Now, uh, it's really sticky, so like I'm double gloved, super sticky. My gloves have broken about five, six times. You just want to make sure you don't miss anything. If uh, you do find a lot, of, I eat a lot of cashews, and uh, so cashews sometimes I don't chew them good, so you'll get a little, you'll feel a hard cashew, you think, oh, is that my gold tooth? No, it's a cashew. Um, so anyway, I'm not feeling much. And you know, I'm thorough. This is $750. You don't want to be thinking, oh, did I miss it? I didn't do that one that well. That's it. It doesn't take that long, so. And I wash my hands even after I do that, even though I wore gloves, I still wash my hands. Another thing about this process is when you, I guess, search the feces with your fingers and kind of smush it, it really creates a, a lot of smell and the whole house can smell like poo within minutes. Feces, it actually stinks. And just imagine you go poo in water and it smells the bathroom up. Imagine no water and then you're smushing it. And I still, uh, you know, I don't have my gold tooth. And so I've been only eating on the left side of my mouth and which is causing my jaw to kind of get tight and you know I feel kind of uh, like clenched in my jaw so then I'm switching to eat on this side and it kind of hurts because I'm missing the filling, the gold filling. So got some kind of bad news today. Was supposed to go in to the dentist, hadn't found my gold tooth in my feces and they called me before my appointment and they said they needed to reschedule. Um, hi Bruno, this is Marvel calling for the dentist. I am actually calling because you have an appointment today at 5.30, but I'm gonna have to reschedule. I know I called earlier on to confirm your appointment, uh, but after all, we need to cancel. If you can please call me back so we can schedule a new appointment. Thank you, bye-bye. So yeah, I called and rescheduled and uh, it does give me more time to find the gold tooth. I mean, I hope I find it, but at this point, I don't have much confidence left in them. Three times it's fallen out, all with Starburst, but I need to eat Starburst. I mean, I was never told you couldn't eat Starburst if you got a gold filling. I think we could probably take it to court, small claims court, and I feel like I didn't miss it, that I still haven't passed it. I have a new way of doing it. I don't use the sits bath anymore. Okay, so what you do is you get a bag, do my business in the bag. Then the next step is you, uh, you sit on the toilet and you wipe yourself. First I use toilet tissue, then I use water wipes. Okay, so I'm almost done wiping. Where the heck are my wet wipes? Here they are, I found them. And I never thought I would be making this sort of documentary, but 
I never thought I would be doing anything I'm doing when I was a kid. My true calling was to make this documentary. And I'm so glad that this happened to me so I'm able to help people around the globe. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, you have the, the thing, then you put the bag over it, so it's here, and then how I do it is I just smush it, and I look, and I feel for the gold, and this bag, it's a good quality, so it's pretty thick, so I haven't had one instance of the bag breaking on me and me getting poo on my hands, and then there you go, that's how you do it, and that's my new method. Hey, how's it going? So, I had a crazy dream last night. It was like a nightmare. I dreamt that... I took a poo in the toilet, and I couldn't check for my gold tooth. It's a crazy nightmare. It's like a stress dream. So I did lose $750 um, from this swallowing the gold tooth, and I was very upset about it. I did contact a lawyer to see if uh, I could get my dentist to pay for it instead of me taking the loss, and the lawyer told me uh, he didn't want to take my case. That's the risk I guess you take when you get a gold tooth. And there's something else too that I, I need to uh, address which is, I stopped going through my poo. I was going to keep looking through my poo until, you know, tomorrow, which is when I'm going back to the dentist, but I actually stopped, um, maybe like five days ago, because I felt like, you know what, I probably missed the gold tooth, like it's been, it was, it's been like two months, or, yeah, over two months. So I actually, yeah, I just stopped looking, even though it could have been in my poo, but I felt like it just, it wasn't worth it anymore. So I got my filling put in, my white filling where the gold was. So that's it, you know, I'm out 750 bucks. And, you know, that's about it. Um, I'm not upset anymore. I don't feel any anger. You know, I was feeling angry before I was calling lawyers and stuff. Um, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So in conclusion, I think that if you swallow a gold tooth or a gold cap, look for it for like a week or two. But if you don't find it, like, don't kill yourself. It's a lot of work looking through your poo. It stinks. It's a big hassle. And I don't know how much it's worth it. What it did kind of do for me is desensitize me to feces. Because when you're touching it a lot, like, it's not that gross as you would think. It is pretty gross, but, like, I had never really done that before besides pick up a dog poo, like, over 10 years ago, you know, and, uh, so I think in the future, like, I would probably pick up my poo with my bare hands, um, and put it in my hair as shampoo. It's really in the eye of the, the, the bee swallower, or the, uh, the crown swallower, you know, um, so, anyway, this has been the documentary, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I swallowed a gold tooth and haven't shitted it out yet. Like a yeti who needs to vent. I'm hard as cement when it's soft. Do you know my friend Laura Croft or Craft Punk? Yeah. I dunked on you and your crew. What are you going to do? I ride by myself on purpose because I have purpose and all I'm seeing is surplus. My hairdresser has me with a mullet.